Fun fact, did you guys know that altogether blue is the most liked color out of them all? Today we're going to be talking about it and how it was featured on the runways. If you think blue is one of your colors, then keep watching. Hello and welcome to MM Design or mm -hmm. Design. My name is Maria and today we're going to be heading into the blue ocean. I guess. We're going to be looking at all the runways, pulling up examples of all of the blue outfits or outfits that had some kind of blue to them and seeing how they were paired together. Before we begin, I needed to say that because there was like different lightings on all the shows, some colors might be actually a little bit different, but this is to my best extent that I could figure out. The swatches that I have took are actually from Pantone where they have assembled a trend reports from the runways and I'm just featuring the examples here today. And from my favorite, let's just start with the monochromatic outfits. So the first one up would be the strong blue, a boundless blue hue that encourages us to look beyond the obvious. This looks like the most generic blue color out there, basically like most of the financial industry has this color down to T. Any web browsers also have it, like Google, Facebook, you name it, it rings a bell. The next one is a little bit more, even more sophisticated, and it's called the Marlin, an aquatic blue native to the tropical and temperate waters. So it's like those deeper blue ocean, maybe darker blue hue, like we've always seen this really, really dark blue where you're like, oh, is this black or is this blue? Can't really tell, but yeah, it's there. And back to the idea about blue being the most popular like color, I think it's more to do with the fact that we see blue anywhere we are in the world, like depending of course on the time, but the water is blue, the sky is blue, and the all the shades of blue kind of resemble those two things that are, I guess, the most calming to people. I find myself blue a little bit boring, but that's okay. That's just my opinion. This richer, deeper blue can definitely be considered more of a neutral. We've seen it in many variations with colors, and we will see its combination with them just a little bit later in this video, but it is definitely a staple for office wear and anything that is really strict and reliable. Here we go, now we have a lighter hue and even two hues that are very close together, but they were featured on different runways, so here we are. One of them is the horizon blue, an atmospheric blue hue denoting where the sea meets the sky. The next one is the Capri, vibrant Capri is the bright blue hue reminiscent of the azure colored waters of the blue grotto. We have a much more calmer blue as well, almost a gray blue. This is a, a brightened denim blue infused with an easy vitality. We've seen this blue not only in the denim, we also seen this featured in many more, like a really interesting textures, like in Mugler right now, we're seeing Scaparelli, Valentino as well. A lot of like sweat pant material in this as well. So I'm guessing there will be a lot of loungewear made with this. And this also is so close to gray that it's quite close to being a neutral. And as gray can be a warmer gray or a cooler gray, then this one is definitely a cooler gray. So if you are a cooler skin tone, then this is a little bit more of a your color rather than a warmer gray would be to the warmer skin tone people like myself. Basically, this color is like, oh, do you think I'm gray or do you think I'm blue? It's really, really much on that line. And it was featured on anything going from loungewear to super sophisticated outfits like office wear or even gowns. All right, the obvious choice to pair it with would be the neutrals. Any color looks great with the neutrals. I've been like, I'm repeating myself over and over again with these 
videos saying that it is a really easy to style any color with neutrals. If you're scared to try out any color, you can do a safe bet and pair it with all black as a pop of color or oral brown or mixture of those neutral colors with just one single pop of color. If you're worried that that color might not be for you, then just go for something that's far away from your face. Maybe the pants, skirts, shoes, bags, you name it. If you would like to experiment closer to your face, then maybe a scarf or a little accessories like earrings, something that's really easily replaced, not too expensive, so it's not gonna cut into your wallet too much. And just try it out, see how it goes. In general, wearers of blue seem to be more stable, more mature, a little bit more reliable even. And that is why most of the banks have blue in their logos to show that they are stable and you can leave your money with them. So if you're in the banking industry, maybe you need to invest into some blue outfits. <laughs> and as I mentioned, this deeper blue is itself somewhat of a neutral color. It looks amazing with a lot of different colors, but if you're thinking of wearing it as a neutral base, we just consider checking out the color wheel and figuring out what for sure this color is gonna go well with. And I'll talk about those combinations in just a sec. You don't need to get out your trusty color wheel if you have one. All right, let's head into the combinations with green. Blue and green are not too far away from each other. They're come somewhat of an analogous color combination. They tend to be not super bright together, so they're a little bit more calming combination. Nothing too crazy about it. Definitely can be a pop of color if you're thinking of getting the dark blue hue and figuring out something fun with adding a little bit of green in there to spice things up. Next one would be orange. This is complementary color combination, which means it's the brightest one out there. For example, we see combination in Fendi of this grayish blue with this bright orange. This is a way to tone it down. So maybe for instance here, the blue is more subtle, but the orange is still vibrant and the color combination is not super intense. Here in Mugler, we also see this kind of like both the orange and the blue are being toned down and it being a much more calmer combination. All right, let's take a look with the pink or like just the really vibrant, I guess, one. Here in Mugler, beautiful combination, really striking colors. You could say that it's somewhat of a analogous, like purples and blue, it's quite close together. So it's not like super crazy combination, if you know what I mean, but still pretty powerful. It always reminds me of this like girly outfits, like mixing the blues and pinks together. Very, very playful. Let's go into the yellow. So basically, if we look at the color wheel, we'll see blue, yellow and red as being equally spaced apart on the color wheel, which means it's a triad combination. Sometimes the red is dropped out, for instance, here that we don't see red making the combination a little bit more subtler, not as in your face, but we will see red in some cases, like here in the lips, for instance, in undercover, and it's okay, it's there and it's pretty bright, but we will definitely see more examples a little bit later with some other shows and other combination, maybe we'll like blue and red, yes. All right, here we are another triad, the one that I've been talking about just now, the red and the blue this time, skipping the yellow altogether. Another pretty bright combination here, you can see the yellow shoes are present, so it's uh, the whole triad, the amount of the yellow is much more smaller in proportion, making it not as intense. Like here, a little blue purse with a black blue, you know, top. Here, a huge blue dress with just a little red shoes. 
and you can play with these proportions as well. So for instance, if you are a cooler tone, you can have this entire cool blue outfit and have a red bag as an accent, right? So keeping that in mind, you can wear almost any color, even though it's not your color, if you know what I mean. Like this Todd sweater has a blue top on it and then red stripes underneath. So the blue is closer to your face. If you're a cooler tone, having that would be perfect. And then introducing red a little bit farther down. Here in Miu Miu, we see both the color red and the color blue becoming much more darker, like almost black blue and burgundy red. We also see this on denim here in a Y project. And let's see some examples with violet, violet and blue, very close analogous combination. So the color combination is not too intense. It's not too bright. And this completes our blue oceans of, I don't know, melancholy, I am not the biggest fan of blue, but it's right if you are, if it suits you. But you can notice that I don't experiment with blue on my face. Oh, I, yes, I don't know. I think I should stop. The previous few videos didn't really work out with my makeup. If you found it helpful at all, then I encourage you to help me out by liking, sharing, maybe even putting a little nice comment down below or even subscribing if you're not already. If you want to see some of the examples of how I dress and how I take those trends that I talk about here onto the everyday kind of a street life. No, I don't live on the street, but you know what I mean. Then I encourage you to check out my Instagram account. It's not super big. I'll, I just share my daily outfits if I'm not wearing pajamas that day, basically. But other than that, I hope you're having an amazing holiday season. And yeah, stay classy. Bye.